Brother Robert Christo, good morning. Good morning, morning. How are you? Oh, sh tired. I know. Yeah. You how many masses did you have five to do? Five over the five season. Five yeah. over the season. Yeah. That's not too bad. Oh, Sometimes you do five in a whole day. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but it was a high energy masses. A lot of people come out. And yeah, it's of really, course. Really yeah. Exciting. Yeah, usually packed for yes, Christmas, yes, eh? Yes. So, Father, you know why you're here. Mm -hmm. We want to talk about Boxing Day. Yesterday was Boxing Day. That was a beautiful interview huh, with yes. the family oh, yes. from yeah, Poland. It's Poland. And yes. it's so different. Yeah. Because can you imagine Trinis, no meat? Well, they do a kind of fasting, but we don't... We don't we, Christmas Day is more than one day in Trinidad and Tobago and in the, in the Christian world. Yeah. It's eight days, actually. Yes. So it ends on New Year's Day. So yeah. every day is Christmas Day for the eight days. You in, mean on in, the Feast of the Epiphany? No, every day for eight days we celebrate the solemnity of Christmas. Right. It's like a solemn day, like Christmas Day. It's um, doing all the glory, all the celebration. It's but that's in the church? Yes. Because the, the Trinis, Trinis, you know, they switched the carnival already. Well, some, uh, some well, people switched the carnival night, already. Yes. <laughs> but, um, but okay, so, but they really hold it up in Poland. And I remember Poland when I went. It was so, a very religious country. And of yes. course, Pope John Paul... Yeah. Coming from there, and Sister Faustina, and all the shrines, and all of that. But they, deep meaning, they, I guess. They, very yeah. deep and meaning. Very traditional. And, and very traditional, yes. 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 Good morning, Sister Sandra, who went on that trip with us. So, we want to talk about Boxing Day. Yeah. What is the history of Boxing Day? It, is, it, it has no religious connotation or tradition, really. Mm -hmm. um, it is, it uh, um, originated in Britain about right. 1847, 147 years ago. Okay. So, it was really um, it's a bank holiday when the masters used to box off gifts for the slaves. Yes. So it turned into a day of giving and receiving. So you would box, I saw some boxes. That's why <laughs> gifts were there. So the day of giving and receiving. Mm -hmm. um, in the nautical world, when ships were sailing and they were out there, they would put in the piggy boxes money. And when they landed, if they have had a successful um, day mm -hmm. or a, a, a trip, they would give it to the priest, he would break it open on Christmas Day and give it to the boor, poor on, on Boxing oh, so Day. So that's where the whole religious side came in because it, they would give their boxes to the priest. It's a giving, day. it's a giving. Oh, okay. So what really happens is before Christmas, we call the season Advent. Mm -hmm. And Advent is a time where God, um, actually when God becomes a man and God comes to man. Right. But after Christmas is when man, be man comes to God. Man comes to God. Explain he gives back, he yeah. returns everything. So ah, the whole preparation was right. God coming, God bringing. Yes. And after Christmas is, is man giving back to God. Yes. So the corporal works of mercy, the poor, and all that stuff started giving back, and yes. the generosity, and the gift giving, and the sharing, and the receiving. Ah. So that's very good because um, if you put it in the uh, spiritual world, you start the spiritual works of mercy. Mm -hmm. And um, that is why also on the Boxing Day is a religious day for the church. Right. It's St. Stephen's Day. Well, I was, I was just, when you said it's not really religious, I said, but I read somewhere that it had something to do with St. Stephen. Yeah, it, yeah. There's, no, there's no, it's just coincidental. It's okay. coincidental. Yeah. Right? The church, in the midst of all this merriment, chose to put martyrdom the next day, because mm -hmm. that's when St. Stephen died. He was the first Christian martyr that ever died. Mm -hmm. Meaning to say, there's a season, but there's yes. a reason for the season. Yes. So the side of the cross, the, the wreath, yes. on the left hand side is merriment, but the right is thorn. Because, thorns, because as soon as you recognize a Christ child and you see his face in the face of God, there will be opposition mm -hmm. and you will refuse to be shaken. He calls you for peace and unity and harmony right. and not pleasure and profit and possession and prestige. Right. So it's a challenge. So there is a bit, immediate as a child is born, there's opposition. Herod mm -hmm. says, you know, Herod says, um, the whole place is troubled. Yeah. That's why there's martyrdom. And as you were talking, Poland. Saint, um, blessed, um, I mean, Saint Paul, John Paul II um, has canonized the most saints in the 20th century mm -hmm. because people have to learn now to respond to this Christ child and respond, respond to the values. Yeah. And that is why um, the first day of Christmas is usually the first step to Calvary. Ah. And that's why there's martyrdom. And that's why today is resurrection, Saint, Saint John the Apostle, the church raises, because Christmas Day ends the theology, now you start giving back and you start recognizing it's a path to salvation and there's a promise to divine future and Christmas Day is not a day. Yeah, it's, it's a, a whole, season. Actually, it's a, it's a state of mind. Mm. It can't be a season. No, it's, it's, a, a, it's, it's a, where you never give up on hope and there's a possibility in the possibility and there's life worth living now because yeah. there's a divine future he's promised. So how do you respond then to Christmas Day being like the end of the Christmas season in Trinidad and Tobago? And Christmas Eve carnival starts. Oh, well, that's, that's really bad. Let me hear yeah, your take yeah, on no, that. No, that can't be, you yeah. know. The whole season for Christmas, maybe some people can debate it goes until the baptism mm -hmm. or maybe the presentation. It's a big season. Christ mm -hmm. is born. 
You so can't even celebrate it in one day. So the Epiphany, which is the sixth, which I grew up knowing as the end of Christmas. Well, there's a, there's a debate alternate. Is that okay. the sixth, is that the baptism or the presentation? And those dates would be? John Paul II says the presentation, which is the 2nd of February. Ooh, um, that's the baptism way into, the 13th. Yeah. You know, so keep your decorations up. Yeah. Because you should have put up the decorations on the last week of the, Advent, which, the, yeah, which is about the 26th, yeah. the 18th. Originally, yeah. So we start too yes. early, yeah. and maybe that's why we cut it and get into carnival. Yeah. But it's, the season really but, starts. But some people would say, yeah, but carnival is part of Trinidad and Tobago. So couldn't the two coexist? It could co coexist because mm -hmm. it's a form of celebration. Mm -hmm. But you must understand when the Christ child is born, it is a, there's a ruction in you, a different kind of carnival ruction. Yeah. But you have to respond <laughs> to peace. Yeah. to harmony, to reconciliation, and that's why there is a refusal, there's a fight, there's a, why there's martyrdom. Yeah. And you may not have to die from blood martyrdom, dry martyrdom, because yeah. you could be fighting against a sculpture right. that says the different kind of ruction, mm -hmm. right? So you have to fight to tell the values of the Christ child you, you brought, the face of God, is being refused. So are you fight. saying, Father, I have to not go to my fets? You can go to and anything you could do. Everything do well, is fine. You know, like in moderation, in moderation, right, and everything. Okay, right, okay. You represent okay. Christ. You are witness of I Christ. That is why that. he touched the earth. Yes. He made everything sanctified. Okay. He made music. He made flesh. He made food. Because but I know you like to say that wherever you are, you can evangelize. Of right? course. You whatever can, you do is a prayer to God. You are morning, yeah. morning edition, you are praying. You are mocking and praying. <coughs> yeah, everything Didn't is Didn't you just say, anyway, yes. I will just pretend I didn't hear. You are now, you mean. The what? now show. Now show is right, a prayer. Now. I mean, look, everything <laughs> else. I don't even know what he just said. The now show, Father. Yes, go ahead. Yes, yes. So <laughs> what I'm saying is that whatever you do, morning, mopping, <laughs> shopping, uh, yes. whatever you do, it's a prayer. Yeah. And that's why Christmas is resistant. Yeah. And that is why it is a fight, St. Peter's Day. And the only, the more you want is the more you have to give away. Yeah. Well, Father, you know what? I think this was excellent. Thank it's you. always a pleasure having Thank you, you pleasure here coming. on the Now Morning Show. Right, Father? Yes. Say it with me. Yes. The, now the Now Morning. The Theology of the Now. The Now Morning yes. Show. <laughs> it's a prayer now. It's a Now, yes. now Prayer. Thank you so much, Thank Father you. Robert Thank Christo. You. Always wonderful to be in your, ple your presence. And a happy, holy, peaceful, blessed, truthful, divine future Christmas. Thank you so Amen. much.